okay, folks, I wanted to just be, this is going to be a quick video, but I wanted to actually show you a little bit of the, my configuration file uh, that I've been using in NixOS and just walk you through it slightly. I am going to post a link to this and you can, uh, you know, adjust it to your needs and everything. I would recommend don't necessarily take the whole file and uh, immediately uh, just try to run it. You might uh, screw up your system. Uh, for example, early portion here uh, talks about the bootloader. Uh, mine's configured like this uh, because I'm using an EFI system. If you're using a BIOS, it's going to point uh, to Grub. In this case, I'm using System D boot. Uh, so, you know, if you change the file, we're using it there. You want to at least make sure once you've got your system installed that your uh, the bootloader setting on your site uh, matches it. Otherwise, you can, if you mess this up, the thing might not boot. Uh, networking host name, so I defaulted to NixOS. I've just got mine, NixOS WS. Uh, I'm actually just going to change that back to NixOS there. That's just the host name or the name of uh, a machine. If you need to enable additional networking wireless uh, support, you can just go and unhash this. Remember, unhashing in a, a configuration or programming type file means you are allowing it or you unblocking it. Anything where it's got hash here, it's, the system doesn't read it. Uh, if networking enabled automatically, this is my time zone. Again, you would change it to your time zone. I've uh, created my separate desktop environment configuration section, right? This portion here is always going to be unhashed uh, out. And depending on your interfaces, uh, like I've shown you before in the videos, what you hash and what you unhash to change the desktop environments. I'm, I'm going to admit the I wouldn't recommend the dip and desktop. I found mine a little bit unstable, so I'm actually just using Cinnamon at the moment. Uh, and I've definitely found all the others pretty stable. And of course, again, talking about this portion here, I must remind you and go to the end of the dock. And that's at the end of the dock. Um, I suppose I could move it up, but just got some used to it here. These are the additional XDG, additional config files. So if you're running Cinnamon, Mate, or Mart and XFC, you would have these unhashed so that the system is using it. Again, if you don't, uh, you you might have weird errors in uh, Marte, Next of CE, and like your network it might not work, it might not build correctly, etc. So these must be unhashed, uh, along obviously with whichever environment you choose here. However, if you go back to KDE, or especially if you go back to GNOME or GNOME, uh, you need to first hash these out, your other interface that you're using, and then unhash uh, normal GNOME. Uh, very important uh, to do that. If you don't do that, uh, it, it's not action. The system when you do a switch is not going to switch correctly uh, because there's some conflicting files between the two. So very important. Uh, at the moment, I've just got mine uh, hashed out uh, for Cinnamon. Desktop. Uh, moving further down, I do have printing enabled via cups. Uh, I do have my sun enabled, uh, pipe wire, and all of this stuff here. I don't I don't use any audio applications that use Jack, uh, so that's why it's disabled. Of course, if you need it, as it says, just un enable it there. Uh, I haven't needed uh, any additional touchpad support or anything, but if you do need that, or you find out a, a touchpad or something on one of your machines is working, of course you'll come and, and tick it. Here is the, uh, my user account. So, gosh and gosh. Again, if you were changing this, you'll make sure it was your user account that you will be using, etc. Uh, I don't have packages installed. Like my user account, my packages I install under the uh, for the whole system. And as you can see, mine's all under the config around free. So basically, here 
I, I allow every packages to be installed on my machine. And of course, everything under my environment system packages. So I've removed the PKGS from mine. And this is just the sort of packages that I use. Uh, some, if you, some, if you don't, if you never get to use, for example, Pantheon, then you could hash up Pantheon tweaks. You're not going to need it. I change my desktop environments all the time. So I, that's why I keep my GNOME tweaks and my Pantheon tweaks there. But if you're never going to use no more Pantheon, you can just hash that out or just remo remove the line. Then, of course, replace, remove whatever software here. Yeah, this is what I use. Uh, and I use uh, the shell code scripts. And in the archive, they use D DWT, which is from, of course, DistroTube. So I use uh, DistroTube's shell code kind of scripts for my uh, uh, bash and file. Further down here, uh, I've got SSH is enabled on mine. Uh, I've also got uh, Flatpak enabled. Uh, you would, of course, have to go afterwards and add the FlatHub store or self, but I do have Flatpaks enabled. I have SSH is enabled. Again, if you don't want SSH enabled, uh, you can just hash that. I've got the firewall is enabled. And I'm only allowing port 22, which is for SSH. Again, you can go and change that as you need to. Uh, I have this program pattern on tweaks enabled here. I, I needed this actually to be enabled so that the pattern on tweaks file would work. I probably should have moved this further down, but I'm not going to move it now because it works over here. I've enabled virtualization on this. Um, so I've got uh podman so obviously you for docker or the open source podman uh, i have podman uh, enabled on my machine and actually installed so it builds it up directly so if you need to use uh distro box or podman or anything with docker that type of thing uh gets enabled again if you don't need it you can just have shit out um you can say i first used docker had issues i moved on the podman uh, if you use your own custom DNS resolver, so let's say you're running your own Pi uh, hole or your own home ad guard home server, or you want a different DNS server than what you're getting from DHCP, uh, yeah, that's why I've added this line here. Again, you could just uh, remove that from the file if you don't want to use your own custom DNS and you have to with DHCP's DNS. Uh, here, of course, uh, for my videos, I obviously do a lot of virtual machines. So here I've got a, this configuration here allows me to have KVM installed and so that I can, uh, run my virtual machines at the box. So this just enables it and further up, of course, I've got work manager. So those two working together. And then of course, over here, these additional uh, config files for Martin XSC. I'll probably as time moves forward, maybe move one or two of these around, but uh, I thought I'll just share the fun and take you through it a little bit, just to explain a bit more. If you have uh, any questions, leave them below. Uh, feel free to use the file, change it. Uh, but yes, if you use it and you break your installation, uh, well, that's up to you. I'm not uh, telling you to use a file, and uh, of course, you use it at your own risk. As always, folks, thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.